If it wasn't for life's little games, what I call them, I probably wouldn't be here. I would still be fulfilling a career that I had my mind set on to the age of 60. I left high school, got right into the military. As I was fulfilling my eight-year obligation to the Navy Seabees, Desert Storm came, pulled me out of college, which I was here in 1991. After that, I never really looked back. Ended up on the railroad, did 25 years on the railroad. The unfortunate C word came into our house with cancer and uh, I was able to retire early and uh, combat that as best I can. And it opened a door for me to come to college again. I had to find an avenue for myself, uh, maybe a bucket list item, but it really, it ultimately turned into an experience that's been worthwhile. And um, I've excelled, I've pushed myself. A little reserved on if I was gonna fit in, getting close to my 50s. I just had to overcome the fact that most students probably thought that I was a professor. But I've, um, I've met some, uh, some great young minds, great professors, great doctors. I've got the opportunity to work in military student services as a veteran, but I would have never had that opportunity if I'd still been working on the railroad. And so even though it's life's little games, it's a blessing and a curse because you have to take what you're given, find your purpose, and you go with it. There's nothing like when you have cancer walk in through your front door there was that shock value, you know what I mean? Part of it when you get to diagnosis. I remember hearing my wife sob in the background when the doctor told me the level of cancer that I had in my body. 50% of my body was engrossed in cancer cells. I got closer in religion, in a way. I mean, what better time, right? And uh, so I asked like, what? What do you want me to do? Apparently I wasn't gonna be a railroader anymore. That's all I really knew. Never been able to volunteer, which I was you know, as soon as the diagnosis, I wanted to volunteer. I wanted to go out there and help people who had cancer. I wanted to help different organizations with veterans, things I would never be able to do before in my life. So it actually opened up doors for me to be able to do things that I have would have never done besides 40 years of railroading. I'm an advocate for my health. I'm an advocate for cancer, especially multiple myeloma. I've used Purdue Fort Wayne to help educate the general public on the disease. A lot of people don't even know what it is. Network. The people I've met through the community, Purdue Fort Wayne has given me a lot of opportunities as not only for my education, but to, to help benefit others. If, if there's one thing I can tell people, stay positive. Don't let cancer define you. You're still the same person, you just have a disease. And, and I pray and I hope that most people can fight that. That's really what it boils down to is looking at everything positively. Is your glass half empty or is it half full? My glass is half full, even with, you know, everything's been thrown at me. It's half the battle of fighting cancer or fighting any disease for that matter. You have to stay positive.